Good morning and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, we're here at Rockley Park. We're staying in their pods, which are new for this year. And I'm gonna make a separate video about that, which I'll link at the end of this video. We haven't been here for eight years, so it'll be interesting to see how much the park has changed in that time. Rockley Park is a Haven Harley Park on the Paul Coast. It's great for nature lovers with its own small beach and walks around Ham Common. We used to come here every year when James was little and we were last here about seven or eight years ago and now that Jess is a toddler it feels like a good time to come back and see what's changed. When you arrive there's a small car park next to reception so you can check in and collect your keys. Reception is easy to find just inside the park entrance. Check in ranges from 1 to 4 pm depending on the type of accommodation you have, and check out is 10 am for everyone. This is a map of the local area showing various activities and days out that may be of interest. Some of them have discounted admission for Rockley Park guests. This is the new type of accommodation at Rockley for 2019 and we'll be spending our week here in one of the pods. They have an express checkout box next to the exit for easy checkout. This is our pod and our home for the next week. If you're interested in seeing more of the pod, I have made a separate in-depth video which I'll link below. This is the main complex. There's a mini mart, fish and chip shop, two restaurants and the entertainment facilities. If you haven't booked directly with Haven, you'll need a fun pass or a day pass to use the facilities and these can be bought from reception. The Mini Mart sells a lot of brand name essentials and some gift and souvenirs. For a small shop it's got a good range of products. We had fish and chips here twice during our stay and they were very nice and reasonably priced. The Harbour Side is a sit down restaurant which is open in the evening. You can have your pizza delivered to your caravan or even to your table in the Showtime Lounge if you use their app. They've got a small arcade area with a variety of different machines, most of which give out tickets that you can then exchange for better prizes.
This is the Mash and Barrel restaurant which is open all day and serves a familiar range of meals, snacks and drinks. During peak season the restaurant can get very busy at standard meal times and the wait for food can be over an hour. There's free Wi-Fi in the main building so it's a good place to grab a drink and check your emails or social media. James has got the hamburger meal which was a pound and Jess has the chicken couchon meal which was also a pound Jess has loved playing in here while we finished our meals the only downside is that during busy times this has been used by children of all ages and can become overcrowded This is an upstairs adults only terraced area. Which looks out over the outdoor pools and play area. The shops. Herbert view where we're staying. and the bus stop. This is one of the three outdoor play areas. The other is next door to the activity centre and there's also a small one on the beach. The outside pools are heated and they're open from mid-May through to the end of August. This is the heated indoor pool, which is open all day and has a small slide, splash zone and a flume. The paid for water activities take place here most evenings once the pool closes to the public. We've paid for James to try the aqua jets, which cost £10 for 30 minutes. The live lounge has a variety of different activities throughout the day, including story time for toddlers, meet the characters, and in the evening there's bingo, live music and visiting apps. In the evening the bar and sweet shop are also open.
This is the outside activity area and play park. The play park's free to use, but you do have to pay extra for crazy golf and the bouncers. You have to book and pay for the activities up to two hours beforehand, and this can be done on the Haven app or at the activities desk. Go on then. James enjoyed the junior segway lesson, which was £10 for 30 minutes, and there's an advanced <laughs> class as well. We booked for him to do the vertical challenge, but due to the bad weather they've had to change it to the climbing wall, but it looks like he's enjoying that too. <laughs> Jess took part in the precious pottery to paint her hand on a plate. This is the harbour at the far end of the park. They have a few different water sports available to book here and it's great for paddling or a spot of crabbing. Why not treat yourself or a loved one to a bit of pampering at the day spa? If you buy the kids a few activities, it's only fair that you should treat yourself too. There's on-site laundry, just in case you run out of clean clothes, which is always a possibility when you have a little one, no matter how many you bring with you. That's it for us. We've had an amazing time here. And if you're thinking of coming here or if you're looking for somewhere to go next year, I would highly recommend it. There's not much else to say except thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye.